Veterans Voice is a show that connects veterans and active members of the military to qualified guests who help you find programs and benefits you qualify for and discuss housing, education, career training, and other topical matters. Every show addresses issues that affect your life. Each week, Veterans Voice will begin with a story from one of our veterans about his or her experiences in the military. We want to thank these veterans for sharing these stories with us. Call in and share your experience. 781-837-4900. And now, a voice from one of our veterans. But we do have uh, one further appointment with Veterans Agent Ted Melvahill and Mr. Charles Duquette, Employment and Training Resource Veterans Services Representatives. Good evening, John. Good evening. We apologize evening. for the uh, delay. We would be remiss if we didn't use Charlie's line. We'll just go with the flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> you can only change what you can change. It's interesting. I just I was at a MWRA meeting of, of Veterans Appreciation. I got to meet all those guys Thank you, sir. as a speaker. First of all, thank you very much for inviting us in, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Mr. Carroll, staff, uh, crack staff. Um, for the record, my name is Ted Mulverhill. I'm uh, honored to be appointed by this body uh, as the uh, Director of Veterans Services for the Town of Norwood. And with me is my dear friend and colleague, Charles Duquette, from uh, Department of Employment and Training, One Stop Career Center. And I thought I'd give myself, I thought I'd give the board, uh, not necessarily the board since you are my appointing authority, you know what I do, but I think some of the viewers outside or watching on, uh, uh, at home who don't, are not town meeting members may not have an, uh, an overview of uh, the functions of our office and our mission. So I thought I'd just start briefly with that, sir, with your permission, and then Absolutely. turn it over to Charlie. Thank you, sir. Um, late 1860s, after the Civil War pa uh, was ended, um, our Union soldiers were returning to the Commonwealth, standing on the street corners, homeless, begging for arms, indigent. And at that time, in their incredible foresight and wisdom, the great General Court of the Commonwealth said, you know what, we have to take care of these guys in a special way. They just saved our nation. They saved our Union. And so they did. And so what they did was establish Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 115. And what that states is, no honorably discharged veteran in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts shall ever stand in a welfare line. They come to us individual rep uh, veteran service officers for confidential, respectful, and individual financial assistance. So in other words, we keep the, the veterans out of the welfare lines. We give them direct financial aid. Now, having said that, the mission has expanded uh, over the course of these many years. The Chapter 1 for Feed General Laws were amended by the Acts of 1947. And our mission statement at this point in time stands, it's paraphrasing Abraham Lincoln's second inaugural address, to care for he who has, has borne the battle for his widow and for his orphan. So not only are the veterans of the Commonwealth eligible, eligible for these state benefits, so are their spouses or their widows or their orphans. So we have a broad spectrum now of client base in addition to the almost half a million veterans in the Commonwealth, but almost 600,000 uh, uh, dependents as well. It's unique to Massachusetts. In the United States, no other state has this program of state benefits and assisting veterans in this remarkably uh, caring and compassionate way. We are the undisputed leader in terms of state benefits nationally. Uh, we are the envy of all of the other 49 states uh, relative to the way we treat our veterans here in Massachusetts, and we're very proud of that fact. Um, our office is full-time, uh, 40 hours a week. We're downstairs in the building. Any veterans or spouses or widows of veterans that have any questions, they're encouraged, please to call our office and we're happy to help them in any way possible. Additionally, we help folks process federal claims through the VA, get them enrolled in VA healthcare systems, <coughs> education benefits, housing, clothing, disabled uh, needs, things of that nature. It's a full service uh, shop and, uh, and we like to call it uh, the tip of the spear relative to our, uh, our services. Fifteen years on the job now, my office changed dramatically and had a, 911 had a major impact on it. All of a sudden, we were making more new veterans and, and are making them every day when we, the office went from peacetime to wartime status. So that's had a tremendous impact on the services that we offer as well. And we're very proud to say that we've kept pace with the uh, increasing number of young men and women who are returning from the battlefields across the world and, and uh, we're giving them the very best possible individual, respectful and confidential service. Um, as I said, it's a one-stop shop. 
Having said that, I'd like to introduce you to my colleague, Charles Duquette, who works at the One Stop Shop in, uh, at the Old Junior High North uh, for the Department of uh, Employment and Training. Con conversely, our relationship between these two offices is one of symbiosis. In other words, if a veteran comes to me for uh, education benefits or VA or health care or anything like that, we take care of them. If a veteran or a family member comes to me for employment issues and looking for work, send them up to Charlie. Conversely, if Charlie has a guy that comes in looking for work, he helps him. If he has a guy come in looking for financial assistance, he sends him down to me. So these two offices worked incredibly well. Charlie is probably the fifth veterans representative that has gone uh, uh, through the doors up there and by far and away is the most uh, uh, compassionate and effective uh, um, manager in that position. So with no further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Charlie and, and uh, have him tell you about what his function is. Okay, thank you. So I'd like to introduce myself. Sir or ma'am, Mass Sergeant Duquette, 25 years in the Marine Corps, hasn't affected me one bit, sir or ma'am. Uh, Hurrah. Hurrah. Um, Marine Corps has a little bit of effect on me. Um, and all of our vets, and Ted will tell you, and you know too, and by the way, I'd first of all like to thank you, Paul, uh, Mr. Chairman, for coming down and actually doing a site visit. I think you got a lot out of it, and we had a good uh, exchange of ideas. And like Ted said, uh, not only is the state a leader, but I think Norwood is a leader. And it's a leader in, in many different ways in the veteran space. Uh, we frequently have and host right at the Norwood Career Center repeatedly Norfolk County Veterans uh, Advisor Council meetings which all the VSOs around get involved, all our veteran service provider, the VA has a presence there, and we just exchange ideas so that we can get the best practices moving forward. And we can pick up the phone and Ted, Bob, Mike, and call people and it happens. We have a network of networks. Um, but I'm, my technical title is Disability Veterans Outreach Specialist. Uh, as you can see, uh, that's a DVOP. As you see, the government is not too good at branding. Uh, what they call me locally is a veterans employment representative, which kind of codifies it and simplifies what we actually do. Uh, and I would just like to say, uh, as Ted pointed out, when it comes to employment or training or anything like that, we have the employment and training resources right at the One Stop Career Center. Um, and actually, uh, we have uh, provided supportive services to help vets to get on their road to success. And that was the title of the cooperative uh, program that we did at Norwood Public Access TV. And I'd like to thank them directly uh, that uh, they actually got the start of what we have now as the Veterans Voice Network. It's a radio and TV network, and we're coming on our second year anniversary. And in that, um, uh, in that uh, theme, I would like to basically offer an open, as the co-producer of the Veterans Voice Network, offer, offer an open invitation for one hour of free airtime on WATD, 95.9 FM, your South Shore's radio station. So probably recognize me from radio. But uh, so I would like to offer that so that we can let other people know. And the good thing is veterans are not limited by geographical area. They can go to any one of our 32 uh, one-stop career centers, but we have vets that come for employment and training resources uh, from all over the all our uh, greater Boston area and Metro Southwest 43 towns and cities and beyond because as a businessman you know uh, it's word of mouth marketing and knowing that you're going to get the services of a high quality nature that draws anybody to have repeat business and that's what we really look forward to and we work as the only integrated, collaborative, team-based career center in the Commonwealth, which puts us way ahead of all of the other career centers that now they're changing the regulation, and guess what? They want more collaborative. So uh, the former governor, Mitt Romney, in an interview about the one-stop career centers commented, it's the state's best-kept secret. Now, I'm not a marketing guru, but I don't think that's a real good slogan to use, you know what I mean? But the sad part about it is, it's kind of still a, a, the best kept secret. We are working the uh, Norwood Day, and I just randomly said, I'm going to interview longtime residents of Norwood and ask them the same questions. And I said, Do you know who the veteran service agent or officer is? And a lot of the people, Oh, yeah, Ted. Do you know where he works? Yeah, the town hall. 
But sad to say, I asked him, who's the veterans employment rep in Norwood? And I'm asking them, I didn't know we had one. Well, where, would he, where does he work? Center Street? And they, didn't, they didn't even know about the Career Center existed. Nobody knew out of 25 longtime residents. And that's across the state. We don't do that much of a great job. But that's why I think we need this information and communication and partnering to uh, really get the, get the people to know what we've done. And also, uh, that is why we have the uh, Veterans Voice Network, because veterans are literally dying from lack of information. We lose 22 veterans uh, death by suicide uh, every day on average in the United States. But you don't hear that on the news, do you? So, and that's grossly underreported. So the veterans definitely need a voice. Ted does give them a voice. He gives them the services. And it's such a blessing to have a, a good partnership like this in a town that cares. Uh, and we are a service center of excellence, if you, if you would. And it, can be, it, it can't be the best kept secret in the state. And we want to partner with you even more so that we can keep that leadership position. And, and also, we reach out to the employers. We have Mass Biz Works, which is employer engagement. So we are now focusing on the job seekers, but also what do your business need to not only succeed, but to grow. And we have a lot of different OGT programs where they'll pay 50 to 90% of an eligible job seeker or veteran that's eligible for the first six months, 50 to 90%. We have grants for training. Any additional training that you might need, they could pay up to 50% and many, many other things. But we have a good business service team here and a relationship, I think, the best in the state. And also, I just want to end in one note, we're the only career center with an Iraqi war veteran, Nick Charbonneau, who is a Norwood Career Center manager just recently, actually when you came actually, by. I thought he'd be here today. Yeah, uh, he couldn't make it because they had a, a lot of, you know, you know how meetings are. And uh, so because of that, he couldn't make it. But I told him, I said, I'll make an honorable shout out for you. And uh, that's significant. The only career, and that's going to add more credibility because veterans are going to, it's word of mouth. And veterans telling other veterans where to get the bread is going to actually help our symbiotic relationship. Paul, Mr. Duquette, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. much.